Hey y'all, welcome back. This is going to be who is coming towards you for the sign Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, these messages may or may not resonate. Please take what apply and leave the rest. If these messages do resonate, please like and subscribe. Anything you need to know about me will be down below in the description box. Okay, so we're going to tap into these cords. And I'm going to tell Spirit, what messages do you have for the Sagittarius? I just seen the Judgment card and the Five of Cups. Somebody could be under judgment and, and it's like feeling very regretful. Or somebody could be sad. Somebody could be coming towards you that's under judgment and it's like this person is feeling sad and regret and regretful. They could be they could be feeling this way because they did something to you or something like that. Or this person might want to come towards you. Okay, spirit. What messages do you have for the Aquarius? But oh, we got justice. So justice is being served. And we got the will of fortune. So justice is being served. And we got the will of fortune. So somebody could be coming towards you. Telling you that justice. Like I don't know. Like somebody could be coming towards you. Giving you justice. Or you could be going towards somebody else. Wanting to give somebody else justice. But either way I feel like the will is turning to either your favor. Or somebody else's favor. Somebody receiving justice here. Yeah, we got the King of Cups here. There could be somebody in love with somebody. Uh, we got the Ten of Wands. So somebody could have been like... We got the Nine of Wands too. So somebody could be having a hard time Somebody could be getting justice and the will could be turning in somebody's favor. And somebody could be having like a hard time dealing with a situation. Like somebody could be real like upset with the nine of wands here. Like somebody could have been like, um, somebody could be in this energy of like standing Trying to stand strong in a battle or some shit like that. I'm also picking up on um, somebody could have been trying to make it hard for somebody to experience love. With somebody that um, they was collaborating with. Somebody could have also like. There could also be a wounded warrior here, like somebody that was, um, somebody could be guarded here, or somebody could have been guarded. But I feel like, um, with the Three of Pentacles, somebody ended up collaborating with, with somebody. Somebody ended up collaborating with somebody, but I feel like somebody could be like, um, <laughs> with the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords. Somebody could be mad as hell because somebody spoke about a third party situation as well. Yeah. The Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords and the Three of Swords. Yeah, somebody could be like heartbroken and spying on somebody. Somebody could have been trying to keep a secret about a third party. Or they could have been trying to keep it a secret about somebody they was collaborating with. They could have been in love with this person. This could have also been a secret that came out. And I feel like somebody's receiving justice because of this secret that came out. And the will is turned in somebody else's favor. Yeah, told you. Somebody under judgment. Somebody under judgment. Somebody could also be losing their job with the Eight of Pentacles here. 
or somebody could have lost their job. Yep, we got the Six of Pentacles and something that happened in the past or with some children. And also a home situation here with the Four of Wands. So somebody could be under judgment for making somebody lose. Okay, listen to this. So somebody could be under judgment for causing somebody to lose a relationship, um, a home situation. Something that happened in the past. Like, somebody could have made two people break up, or they could have made people, like, two people lose their stability or their house or some shit like that. Yeah. But with the Six of Swords here, I feel like now spirit is guiding these people into common waters. Somebody's being, somebody's being guided into common waters. Yeah. With the Three of Wands, somebody's ships could be coming in or... These people turn their back on whoever you or whoever. Yeah, they could be celebrating too. Yeah, they or they reconcile with the three of cups. What else, spirit? So we got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you could have been doing this to an earth sign. If this was, if you was doing this to an earth sign, we got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person is wealthy. This person is now rich. This person got a beautiful house. This person is like, they just receive um, either a windfall of money or an inheritance. Yeah, we got both. This person is emo emotionally fulfilled, mature. This person could have been very intuitive. Like I said, this is a mature, um, grounded, wealthy woman. This could, also, this could be an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Yeah. But I feel like with the moon card... Somebody wants to secretly balance something out or they could be keeping this a secret. Something could be a secret here that's being balanced out when it comes to work. Something could be happening quick and fast and a lot. And I feel like either you're confused or somebody's confused. Somebody's confused on how somebody got some sort of authority or power with the emperor card here. Yeah, we got the three of swords. Somebody heartbroken. Somebody could be heartbroken about this. Oh, we got the Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with, could have been dealing with the Queen of Wands. We got the Four of Pentacles. So this Queen of Wands could be holding on to this person with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they could be wanting this person to invest in them. Yeah, but with the High Priestess here, I feel like this person is already, they already on to what this is or who this is. So there could be a fire sign holding on to this. Queen of Pentacles, because they see that this person is wealthy, or this person got a lot of money. They could have a nice, fat-ass house, a nice car. They could be, they couldn't, like, um, they could be very abundant here. Like I said, whoever this person is, they, they got a lot of money. They wealthy as shit. Yeah, we got the Five of Cups coming out again, like I said in the beginning of the reading. Somebody could be in regret here. Somebody could be feeling like at a loss. Somebody could, be, somebody could be also losing their stability. We got the seven of cups coming back out again. Yeah, somebody could be like confused as hell. I feel like somebody could be also confused about how the hell somebody becomes stable. <laughs> or how the fuck did somebody get this? <laughs> how the fuck did somebody gain some sort of financial uh, stability? Or security here. Like, somebody is, like, really wondering how the fuck somebody did something. How did they get their stability back? How did they get this money back? How the fuck did they get these this opportunity to work independently? Or how the fuck did they get all this abundance? and Whatever the fuck this is. Somebody is so worried about somebody else. And I also feel like they're worried about some sort of air sign. This king of swords. So it's like they're worried about these two people. Like, how did they, how did they do this? How did they fucking... How did they get this car? How did they fucking go this go here, go there, or some shit? Yeah. It's like because these people were loyal with this strength car here. Yeah. Somebody was loyal, they stayed guarded. I mean they it's like they they cut through the bullshit when it came to their relationship. Or when it came to the connection they had. Yeah. This air sign and this earth sign. 
There's forward movement, forward movement here for these two people. Yeah, we got the seven of swords. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like these two people like was moving in silence with the seven of swords here. I got the queen of pentacles, the queen of cups, and the ten of pentacles coming back out again, bro. Like, yeah, somebody moved in silence when they received all this money. They don't, it's like, <sighs> Lord have mercy. Lord, now we got the devil coming out. We got the devil, the tower, and the lovers. So a lot of y'all could be saying that these people are toxic or they demons or some shit like that. Like somebody could be saying they, um, somebody could be saying that the, the dude fell in love with a demon or she's some weird ass shit, bro. But it's not even that. It's just the fact that this queen of pentacles is wealthy as fuck. And not only is she wealthy, so is the dude or the man that's with her. Her divine masculine. Somebody could have also been obsessed with the fact that somebody, like somebody could have been obsessed with somebody's relationship. Or they could have been wanting somebody to, like, they could have been trying to manipulate somebody's relationship, right? Wanting, it's like they, they were trying to make so many other offers come in with the Knight of Cups. But they walked away like, what the fuck? We got the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Empress. So whoever whoever was supposed to be coming in, making this offer, I feel like this fucking, she walked away from whoever it was because she's the Empress. It's like she put something to rest with the Four of Swords here because she's single and abundant on her fucking own with the Nine of Pentacles. Like, what the hell? Like, she don't need nobody. She don't need no... No nigga. Oh, excuse my voice, y'all. She don't need no dude. So, if you were trying to do this to a person... If you were trying to make... I don't know, like, if you were trying to make two people break up or have a hard time being in love or experiencing love or, or marriage or whatever, I don't fucking know, or their stability, fucking with, all, fucking with their stability, I feel like somebody's under judgment for all this. It's like now the table about to turn and these people about to get, if they did lose anything, I feel like they're about to get all their shit back. If they ain't got a bet yet. I feel like whoever this was you sent to make this offer to this empress, oh, she, she rejected him and, and fucking walked away from that. I mean, of course, she's the empress. The fuck? Look, I just seen Cauldron, too. Yeah, we have intuition. So somebody could have been very intuitive. Like I said, somebody already... Somebody knew that. I don't think I said that, but I'm saying it now. Somebody was using their intuition in the situation. Oh, I just seen protection and wanted to come out. We also have third harvest. Yeah, some I told you somebody is fucking wealthy as hell. Like they whatever they was manifesting, yeah, it's coming to fruition. Like now. Like right now. Like they don't like like they got all this money. We got a dark moon. So this could be like a new beginning. <clears throat> this could be a new beginning here with a dark moon. Another car flipped over, but I don't know where it went. <laughs> Let me make sure though, y'all, with the dark moon. I believe it's new beginning though, y'all. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Told you. It's new beginnings and letting go. Yup. So somebody got a new beginning. And 
and everything that somebody was manifesting, they are now seeing the fruits of their labor. All their seeds that they planted is starting to grow. Give me one more spirit. We got the owl. I told you somebody had insight. Somebody, somebody had some sort of insight on what was going on, or who did this, or if this was you doing this. Somebody already knew that you were doing this to them and their love life and their stability and all this other shit. And this is why you're under judgment or the person is under judgment. If you were doing this to an earth sign, oh yeah, they fucking know. And we got the broom. It says, now nah, fuck that, it ain't, it ain't about what it say. But um, basically this person is sweeping away all the negative energy now. Oh, this person already swept away all the negative energy that was being put on them. Projected onto them or whatever. So. We're going to get one more card. Let me, thank you, spirit. We have dingy, wildness, anima, service, and choices. So with this card, I always feel like somebody had, like, they was born with two, two gifts. They had a dark gift and a light gift. This is also choices. Somebody also always made good choices in life. Somebody was always like good when it comes to service. You know what I'm saying? Like they did things in a positive way. Even though they had this this side of them, they used this side more than this side. They only used this side when need be, but it was mainly this side that they worked out of, that energy. But I'm going to give y'all a blessed message, and I'm going to let y'all go. Okay, Spirit. What blessed messages do you have for the Aquarius? <clears throat> we have a blessing on the first start. Yep. Told you somebody's getting a new beginning here. What else? We have a blessing for a good man and a father. Yeah. So, whatever y'all were trying to do to this person, divine masculine, um, I just want to let y'all know that he was protected. Whether it was by his divine feminine, his empress, or, or spirit. Regardless of what you was doing, um, this person was protected, and I feel like his blessing now is to become a good father and um, a good husband or a man to his empress, to this queen of pentacles, this earth sign. Like, whatever y'all were trying to make him do or whatever was he was sought out to do, um, yeah. I feel like he, is, he went through an awakening. There was a rebirth here for him, and his crown chakra was, like, pretty much bust wide open. Lord, if, if this ain't if this ain't the worst, the best the best cards in the world, I'm sorry. We also have a blessing on a new home. I told y'all, I can't make this shit up. Look at this. So if these if these two people lost everything, if they lost their house, if they lost if they broke up or whatever, listen to this. Listen to this. They getting all this shit back. The love, the house, because they got support from the universe. They got support from their ancestors. I mean, the angels was here. Like, I, I got to get one more. I got to get one more. Give me one more, spirit. Talk to them, baby. Talk to them. We have a blessing on the senses that gift the world to you. Like I said, the universe is blessing these people. The un I got to get one more. I'm sorry. I got to keep going because... Give me one more blessing, Spirit. <laughs> we have a blessing on growing older. Yeah, these people could be getting a lot of wisdom and knowledge, ancestral knowledge. They're being blessed with ancestral knowledge. Wisdom. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. Okay, so that's all I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this helped. Um... Please stay tuned and I will definitely be back. I'm out.